My name is Nicole Scott, and I've been using a Surface Book for nearly six months. So when I got invited to check out the Surface Lab in Redmond, I jumped at the chance to get a sneak peek on how my weapon of choice was created. The design process of the Surface Book began with a cardboard cutout, and thanks to the 10,000 square foot rapid prototyping lab on Microsoft's Redmond campus, the team was able to iterate designs in just a day. After the cardboard cutout, which they simply referred to as book, they printed concepts with a 3D printer, then moved on to machined versions, and we even got to see the first working muscle wire detach mechanism prototype. The mantra failed fast was mentioned over and over along my day-long visit, and with 3D printers, laser cutters, and even a machine to make custom screws, you knew that this hackerspace containing every item on your wish list was the key enabler. Need an 80Hz anechoic chamber which is also in the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's quietest room? No problem. If you're wondering why, well this is where they test things like the sound the keyboard makes, fan noises, or even Skype's universal translator. The human factors lab makes sure that everything fits, measuring markers on human faces or using lasers to assess wrist sizes. There's even a room to test out different lighting conditions because, well, no one likes glare on their screens. The Applied Sciences Laboratory has a distinguished scientist whose childlike enthusiasm is infectious, and he basically gets to play around with a lot of super expensive toys and answer questions like, how responsive does the pen actually have to be to feel like you're writing on paper? This demo provided haptic feedback so it felt like you were writing wood, concrete, or paper. The Surface Labs Playground and the Fail Fast Mantra allowed the team to create one of the most dynamic hardware designs since the MacBook Air. Besides having the coolest name ever, the dynamic fulcrum hinge uses muscle wire to secure the tablet and a mechanism unlike any other on the market. As you open the Surface Book, the hinge rolls outward, pushing the display slightly farther back from the keyboard dock. This increases the surface area of the base, making it more stable and harder to tip over. This was just a little behind the scenes of Microsoft Surface Lab. If this wasn't enough and you want more, be sure to check the description below where there'll be a link to an article with some photos and maybe another video about the type cover. While you're down there, why don't you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Bye.